At long last, we're ready to split our data into a training and testing set and to actually build a model. So we'll start by loading the CA tools package so that we can split our data. So we'll do a library of C tools. And then, as usual, we're going to set our random seed so that everybody has the same results. So we use set.seed, and we'll pick the number 144. Again, the number isn't particularly important. The important thing is that we all use the same one. So as usual, we're going to obtain the split variable. Um, we'll call it SPL using the sample.split function. The outcome variable that we pass is labeled terms, dollar sign responsive. And we'll do a 70-30 split, so we'll pass 0 0.7 here. So then train, the training data frame, can be obtained using subset um, on the labeled terms um, where SPL is true. And test is the subset when SPL is false. All right, so now we're ready to build the model. And we'll build a simple cart model using the default parameters, but a random forest would be another good choice from our tool set. So we'll start by loading up the packages for the cart model. We'll do a library of our part, and we'll also load up the, um, the rpart.plot package so that we can plot the outcome. So we'll create a model called email cart using the rpart function. We're predicting responsive and we're predicting it using all of the additional variables, all the frequencies of the terms that are included. Obviously tilde period is important here because there's 788 terms, way too many to actually type out. The data that we're using to train the model is just our training data frame, train. And then the method is class, since we have a classification problem here. And once we've trained the cart model, we can plot it out using PRP. There we go. So we can see at the very top is the word California. If California appears at least twice in an email, we're going to take the right um, part over here and predict that a document is responsive. It's somewhat unsurprising that California shows up because we know that Enron had a heavy involvement in the California energy markets. So further down the tree, we see a number of other terms that we could you know, plausibly expect to be related to energy bids and energy scheduling, like system, demand, bid, and gas. And down here at the bottom is Jeff, which is perhaps a reference to Enron CEO Jeff Skillings, who ended up actually being jailed for his involvement in the fraud at the company.